Welcome to the second um, example for normal compound curves. In this example, we're going to look at um, some given values um, for curves 1 and 2. And we're going to use that information to find things such as the point of intersection for curve 1, um, the external distance for curve 1, and the middle ordinate of the second curve. Okay? Uh, but before we begin, we have some um, given values. Uh, first, our total interior angle is 100, 142 degrees, uh, 25 minutes, and 43 seconds, okay? So that's the total interior angle, and on this diagram, that is this angle right here, or this entire angle here, okay? Um, Radius 1, so the radius of the first curve is given as 716.197 feet, okay? And uh, the length, length of the second curve is given as 1,568.572 feet, okay? And the degree of curvature for curve 2 is 5 degrees, okay? The station for the point of common curvature, and remember the point of common curvature on this diagram um, is this point right here. It's where the um, first curve ends and where the second curve begins, okay? So that station is given as 24 plus uh, 49.080 okay so that's the station of our point of common curvature and with this information we're gonna uh, figure out a couple things the first thing we want to figure out is what is um, what is delta 2 so what is the interior angle for curve 2 and we can figure that out uh, using uh, the degree of curvature that's given okay and remember, this degree of curvature, it's not, it doesn't say if it's, if it's by arc or by chord, so we always assume by default that it's arc. So this is arc definition. And if it's arc definition, we use, um, we use this formula. And this formula actually turns into L is equal to 100 for degrees of curvature. So 2 pi r2... Um, and the interior angle turns into the degree of curvature, which in this case is 5 degrees. And that's over 360 degrees, okay? And if we plug this in and we solve for R2, R2 is equal to 1,145.916, okay? And we can use this radius to figure out what um, delta 2 is, okay? So to find delta 2, we can use the same formula. Uh, the length of curve 2 is given, 1568.572. So we plug that in, 1568.572. That's equal to 2 pi radius of curve 2, which we just figured out, it was 1145.916 and um, that times delta 2 divided by 360 degrees, okay? And delta 2, if we, if we you know, put this into our calculator, delta 2 becomes, or delta 2 is 78 degrees, 25 minutes, and 43 seconds. So here we found um, delta 2. Now, what is delta 1? That's my next question. What is delta 1? Well, we know the total interior angle. We just figured out what delta 2 is. And we know that the total interior angle is delta 1 plus delta 2. And we know delta 2. And we know the total interior angle. And we need to find delta 1. So we can just plug them in. Total uh, delta is 142.2543. That's equal to delta 1 plus delta 2. And delta 2 is 78, you know, we just figured out, 
3. Uh, we saw for delta 1, delta 1 should be 64, actually should be a, a very nice angle, 64, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Okay? So this is, this is delta 1. This is the interior angle for curve 1. So at this point, let's look back to our diagram. We figured out what delta 1 is and delta 2. Delta 1 is the interior angle for this blue curve, or curve 1, and delta 2 is uh, uh, the interior angle for curve 2, or this red curve, okay? Now, my second question, or my third question is, what is the degree of curvature for curve 1? Well, the problem gave us what the degree of curvature for curve 2 is. What is the degree of curvature for curve 1? Well, since all this is by arc, we can use that other formula. Let me draw a line here. Um, length, I'm talking about this formula right here. Length is equal to 2 pi r delta over 360. And our length is going to be 100 for curve 1. And that's equal to 2 pi r1. r1 is actually given, it's up here, it's 716.197, 716.197, degree of curvature for curve 1. That's divided by 360. We solve that out, degree of curvature for curve 1 um, should be a nice 8 degrees, okay? And you can uh, double check that. Now, my fourth question is, uh, what is L, L1? What is the length of curve 1? What's the length of curve 1? And length is equal to, again, 2 pi r, 1, delta 1, over 360 degrees. We can plug that in. 2 pi r1, r1 was 716.197. That was given. And our interior angle, uh, delta 1, was this nice... 64 degrees, okay? That's all divided by 360. Uh, we can uh, plug this into our calculator. We should get actually a very, very nice 800, 800 feet even, okay? So um, I'm actually going to stop the video right there. In the next video, we'll uh, continue on with this example and we'll use what we know to figure out what uh, the, the station for the point of intersection for curve 1 is. Uh, the middle ordinate for the second curve and the external distance for the first curve. Alright, see you then.